My mobile detailing people, welcome to the Hunters Detailing Headquarters, located at 5561 Arvin Boulevard, Sacramento, California. If you haven't came through, make sure you come through. I got my man Jay here rocking with me, you know what I mean? And uh, you guys make sure you guys subscribe to his channel down below. But let me show you guys what we're working with in the shop. This is an updated, this is an update right here, you guys. Um, I think we showed them the shop before, right Reyes? Yeah, but it wasn't full it wasn't at all. Full. Okay, okay. I still don't think it's full. So we got a lot more room to grow, a lot more things to fill up in here. The next thing that's to come is your own, yours truly, detailing supplies. You guys stay tuned for that. I'm speaking that. Come on. Hours of operation right now are 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And the reason why that is is because we're not as busy right now, so we can't just be dishing out money like that right now. So once you guys start being aware of what we have up in here, like I'm gonna show you guys right now, hopefully more of you guys come through. So from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So I'll see you guys, check it out, y'all. So we're gonna start over here with the PNS, of course. You already know we PNS'd out. And uh, this is the main thing I sell in my shop. This is the main attraction. This is what most people, I would say 80% of the people that come through here, they're coming for PNS, man. So uh, we got brake busters, as y'all can see, tire and wheel. We got the iron busters. We are gonna just do a brief speed through for you guys, man. If you guys wanna uh, more in depth, come through. Um, we got shine all performance dressing, tire and wheel, uh, shine. Um, we got absolute rents, rags to riches. Come on over here. Let me show you my favorite combo. Shout out to my man Jay right here because uh, he showed me the best combo right here. That's Dream Maker mixed with Bead Maker. And the reason why I like that is because you're gonna get that high gloss shine and you're also gonna get protection. And also we had a problem with it attracting dust and dirt onto the vehicle. So this eliminates the uh, static properties that cause that and also um, it eliminates most of the I know you guys have problems with bee maker where it smears and it leaves streaks and stuff this helps with that tremendously so if you guys haven't tried it try it and if you have tried it drop it down in the comments below and let everybody know um, let me ask you something what's up you mix it together one and one or a little bit there you go jay your moment to shine all right so what you guys are going to do you're going to grab your bead maker your bead maker is going to be your main chemical so you're going to fill up your bead maker to about the top here um and then you take your dream maker you have to buy both of them it's exp it's expensive at first but you're not going to use as much dream maker so with dream maker you're going to fill up the rest of the bottle like this much so a ten if you were looking at dilutions around 10 to 1 maybe a little bit more, but you don't need much Dream Maker. All you need is a little bit so it can actually mix in with the bead maker, eliminate the static properties that the bead maker has, as well as give it that gloss that you're looking for. And the bead maker gives it the protection, so it's a dual combo and it's lethal. Appreciate Thank you, Jay. It. Appreciate it, Jay. You know, Jay came through with the assist. Appreciate you, brother. And also, Bee Maker, Dream Maker, my favorite. And then for my third favorite is Body Wash. Now the, the uh, foam on this is insane. And you only need a couple ounces. It's crazy, you guys. This one, be this flies off the shelves right here. So you better come try it out. Um, that's gonna be your concentrated soap. And then if you want the pH neutral soap for the coatings and the waxes, and you don't want it to strip it. So this is gonna be your safe soap right here. And then um, follow me, follow me. Got the paint prep when you're getting ready to do that coating or put the wax on. We got the leather treatment right here. And uh, for my fourth favorite, we got that natural finish right here. I like the natural finish. When I first started, boy, I was uh, uh, shining everything up in the interior. Boy, I, I didn't care. I was shining everything and only people that liked it was the women. So that's a word of advice. The women like to shine. The men are just like, oh, hold on, brother. You can take that down a little bit. So just a word of advice. All right, we got the Inspiration fabric coating. Um, then up here, we got EnviroClean. You got your degreaser, got your all-purpose. And uh, another favorite right here. This one sells right off the shelves. 
Express Interior. If you don't know, now you know. If you like the suds action, that's it right there. So over here, we got the PNS fragrance right there. Oh, is that new? Yep, those three are new. I never seen them before. Yes, sir. Wait, so it comes in a bottle, but how do you apply it to the car? Okay, you, so you have... this makes gallons. This makes two gallons worth of uh, scent right here. Oh, so, so it's concentrated. It's concentrated, yes, God. sir, yes, sir. And then sir. you get like a spray bottle. There it is, this is my favorite. So if y'all don't get it, I'll be getting it. I'll be in there buying my own stuff, man. I gotta swipe it too, man. And in here we got the more expensive um, stuff in here. We got the polisher to get in the tight, tight areas, like the door handles and as you can see in between the rims and stuff. Then we got the legend coating. And then we got your mini polisher by Max Shine. Wanna get in the tight, small areas. And then we got all our coatings in here also. Shout out to Gian right there. Those be flying off the shelf. They like the coatings. And right now we only got the Max Shine polishers and we got the Roops polishers coming through. And then next up, what we got? What we got? We got our wheel brushes and rim brushes, all brushes right here from carpet brushes to brushes on brushes on brushes to shampoo brushes and brushes. Y'all got the point? Brush it up. Anyways, from hard brushes to soft brushes to extremely fine brushes and uh, yellow brushes to orange brushes to yellow brushes to green brushes. All right, brush along. All right, over here we got your foam pads. All right, we got your, from, from cheap to the most expensive. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, pockets is, is, is touching a little bit and sometimes we only can do um, what we could do, you know? But they are amazing pads, don't get me wrong. Shout out to Max Shine, appreciate you guys. But um, yeah, most of the time we like to go on here and we mess with the roofs. From your fine polishing to your coarse polishing to your wool polishing to your um, foam polishing, you get the point. Anyways, we got the three inches also. We're stepping our game up with that. We're gonna get the one inch up in here too. We don't have it right now. Then right here we got our clay mitts and then we got our synthetic clay applicators. Then we got our nano clay pads. You can actually put this on a polisher um, to quickly um, clay a car, which is pretty dope. Let me show you guys real quick. I'm charging y'all for this. So you literally can put it on your polisher and polish to smooth out the paint. Look like you got something to say, Jay. Yeah, and uh, I feel like you would probably need to polish your paint after doing that, you know, just with how much speed you have on the polisher and uh, using it to clay, it's gonna mar your paint. So I definitely hit it up with the polish after, just a quick little get rid of the marring. Yes, sir. So that's a good upsell. A lot of the times we clay, we use the clay bar on a car and we don't think to upsell to polish it out. And a lot of people think that it should be included. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that it should be included when you clay a car, should it be separate? This has been something that's been um, argued about amongst detailers. So yeah, let me know. Then we got our polishes from our fine polish to our coarse polishing compounds to our one year polish, which is pretty dope. This is a one year, one step. That's pretty dope. And then we got our measuring cups right here. We got Big Daddy and then we got Little Daddy. We got Kyle's Boat RV Restorer right here. So if you wanna do boats and RVs. Headlight restoration right there. Yes, sir. Then we got PNS All-in-One right here. Then we got our aggressive Ego Maker Compound. For, for your corrections right there, we got the fine polish right here, one step polish and protect, ultra fine polish. We got all the polishes right here, man. So if you need to come through and get some polish, we're the shop for you. All right, then we headed right on over to the colorful section of the towels. My favorite towel over here, I would have to say is gonna be the purple. I just love the texture and how it picks up the water. All these towels work amazing. If you don't have one, you might wanna uh, come and pick one up. This is that one and done. You throw it on a car and you just pull it right along and it dries it right on up. Then you got your wash mitts right here. We got all different flavors right here. You know what I mean? We got green, we got white, we got red. Yes, sir, yes, sir. 
Shout out to Clean Tech. Appreciate you guys. These is, man, these is almost gone, man. Y'all better come check this out. This is my favorite tire and wheel cleaner right here. We got that breaker. We got that knockout right here. They call it that one-two punch combo right here. One-two combo. Tire and wheel cleaner, man. This is the closest you're gonna get to acid with it being a non-acid. That's how dope this is. You can spray on and rinse off and it's not acid, which is pretty dope. Then we got final shot. That's gonna be your spray wax. All right, next up we got Ultra Clean. All right, we got degreaser with Ultra Clean, carpet cleaner, protect all for your uh, vinyl protection um, to shine it on up. We got our extractor HD, carpet and upholstery machine cleaner. Then we got our all purpose. We got the bug remover, we got one left. You better come and get it. Got one left. Then we got, uh, the heavy duty acid wheel cleaner, you gotta have this. If you ever get ran into some rusted wheels and you don't have acid, you're gonna be in trouble. I know y'all been cleaning some rims and y'all like, man, I can't get this orange black stuff off the rims. This is why you can't get it off, you need acid. So keep that in mind, you guys. All right, next we got the towels. We got polished towels, wax towels, coating towels. And if you wanna buy a pack of towels, that's ready to go and you don't want to get one. So we have it set up to where you can be like, I want one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. And this is just the beginning, you guys. Once we get more towels, we are gonna stuff it on up right here. But we have it out here so you can feel the texture of the towels, how big the towels are. And then as you can see up here, we got our bottle holders from IK to compound holders to um, every different size bottles. If you want to have a holder for it. And if you come over here, we got our lights. So if you want to see the swirls on the car, we got different kind of lights for you. And man, my favorite is this one right here. And then down below, we got our brush kits. Comes with a big brush and a smaller one. Um, so that when you're shampooing cars, it's for you so you can shampoo. And you got the mini cordless polisher. We already told y'all about that already. We're gonna tell y'all again. And then from more aggressive to soft brushes. You gotta make sure you know the different variations you use on certain cars or you will tear some stuff up. You know, I know most people have experienced that. Y'all be careful. Y'all gotta start reading these, uh, the cloths and knowing which one to use. Always do your test spot. And this is my favorite foam cannon right here. This is called the grenade. Check it out. You know what I mean? If you, you got your paper up, you know what I mean? You come and roll with the big dogs, right Jay? All right, all right. Headlight restoration. And of course, you got to have your gloves, man. We got anywhere from large gloves to extra, extra large gloves to small gloves to medium gloves. All right, so there's no excuse to not come and get your gloves. All right, so I used to not put gloves on, you guys. Um, I did not like how it filled with cars and I would just get all the chemicals, soak them all up and I would wake up to my hands swollen. So for the detailers out there that don't like to put gloves on, Shame on you, all right? Um, then we got auto fiber over here. Look at this, man, look at this. It's just beautiful, look at the, look at the beautiful colors. Look at it, just make you wanna buy something. I'm gonna buy something after we get done. And y'all think I'm playing, man. I think I'm the uh, number one person in here that buys stuff. Cause I have to walk in here and see it every day. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing, I'm so serious, bro. Me too. All right, check this out. We got, um, these are ceramic coating pads right here. From thin to thick right here. And from the hand ones, if you wanna coat like this. The mini ones, you got the mini ones? Exactly, let them know, Jay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then this is a saver sheet. These are good for ceramic coatings. It actually spreads the coating more over the car so that, uh, you don't waste coating. And then next, these are called flat out. These normally come in a pack of four right here. So if anybody's tired of dipping your pads in the bucket all the time, after you go to the bottom of the car where the dirtiest part of the car, you can actually place this on all parts of the car, on the hood, to the back, to the top, one on this side, this side, so that you could just boom. Hit that side, boom, hit that side, all points, and you're done with the car. Instead of dipping, dipping, you know what I mean? You gotta strategize right here. You feel me, Jay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got all different kind of scrub ninjas, you guys. 
This is my favorite. No, this is not my favorite. My favorite is right here. Check it out, you guys. I gotta pull this one out. Check it out, man. You could literally cover a whole leather seat with this. Check this out, both sides, equipped. Tell them stop playing with me. Seriously, get active with this, seriously. So here are my favorite uh, wash pads right here. This one and this one. What's dope about it is it has the cushion that you could put in. And according, you could put it in according to like, how do I put it? How do I put it, Jay? So if you don't want it too cushiony, you don't have to put both of the pads in, which is pretty dope. So you could adjust it to your liking. All right, then flat out, this is called wash block party. This is for the lower parts of the car. Specifically, it's designed for the lower parts of the car that are the dirtiest parts of the car. Check it out. And then over here, we got Gion right here and anywhere from pH neutral soaps to all purpose cleaners to a restart wash for ceramic coated cars. So it gets back its hy hydrophobic uh, properties. And uh, oh yeah, so a lot of y'all love wet coat and uh, most of you come into the shop and bought this out. So we actually had to re-up on a gallon size of them because this one I heard good things about. You can just wash a car that has no protection on it. At the end, before you dry, you spray this on all panels Use your pressure washer to kind of spread it throughout the whole car and it leaves like three months of protection just from rinsing and it has self-cleaning properties so it keeps your car cleaner for longer and uh, this stuff is pretty popular so yes, you guys bought this out. Yeah, come and get it before it's gone again. Then we got uh, Gian interior detailer, clay lube, wheel cleaner, then we got the tire cleaner. And then we got the Inspiration Defender over here. This is new, you guys. If you, have, if you don't know nothing about it, look it up on YouTube. That's gonna be your uh, topper after a coating, or it could be used uh, uh, a standalone protection. And here, my favorite. This is new also, Swift. And what's dope about Swift is it's like a uh, express um, interior mixed in with uh, uh, conditioning. So it's gonna condition and clean at the same time which is pretty dope. So I use that for my maintenance clients. And then um, if you got off-road vehicles, we got all around cleaner, mud buster, and then we got wide open, all, all terrain wash right here. Some dressing. Yes, sir. And then we also got the dressing. Got a quick detailer. And the quick detailer. Yes, sir. And then what else we got? All right, let's see what else we got in the shop. Anything, oh. We got this rack right here. We got bug, bug removal. We got, uh, this is good for when the hose gets stuck under the tires. This is gonna help it flow smoothly. Come in, these always sell out. So we got one, two, three. We got three of these left. And then we got your pet hair removers. We got quite a few over there too. That's not it. We got our nozzles. We got our wheel cleaners. We got Quick View by Gian. This is gonna be your, uh, it repels water from your windows. And, oh, up here we got the Max Shine uh, bags up here. And also we got our display section over here. So if you wanna come and look at how everything is gonna look in your van, from the foam cannon holder, to the uh, glove holder, to the brush holder, to the pad holder, it's all right here. And also what we got hiding in the corner is if you need to clean some RVs, some boats, whatever it is big that you can't reach, you are gonna got, you got your uh, wash brushes right here. And that, that pretty much sums it up, man. And we got a lot more to come. Oh, oh, Rez, oh, check it out, man. Look, we almost forgot, man. So this is our brush section. As you guys see, I'm really trying to keep it organized. So, we got the Detail Factory brushes. We got all different kind of flavors, you guys. Check it out. Oh, the curveball. I don't know what else we got in here. We got a little mini me too, but it's a whole box of Detail Factory. These are the best brushes out there, man. And we got it in the shop. Check it out. So this is gonna be the whole brush section right here. We're gonna start removing some stuff. But we also got Car Pro. We got Sonax coming. We got this person coming up, bro. We're gonna fill this whole thing up to the point, you see the walls right there? 
Those is eventually coming down. And then y'all stay tuned. Me and Ray has got a shop that's going to be opening up pretty soon. He don't know it yet. It's going to be out there in uh, Modesto. They ain't got one in Modesto, see? Hey, y'all stay tuned for that, man. But, uh, oh, Max Shine bottle holder. This is dope. I'm going to mess around and pay for this and put it in my van. So the reason for three of these is so you're equipped for whatever situation. So you got your washing wax foam cannon, you got your pH neutral foam cannon, and you got your ceramic coating um, stuff. Oh, your concentrated soap. Concentrated, pH neutral, wash and wax. That's how I do it right there. So it sucks to have to dump soap out and then fill it up with a different one. I don't know how you guys do it if you only got one foam cannon. So that's dope for that. Uh, we got our sand killer down here hiding. This is so you can scrub your wash mitt so that you don't uh, scratch the vehicle. And then also we got a variety of foam cannons right here. Check it out, check it out. And then we got a couple more up here, right there at the top. Check it out, check it out. We got our bottles. If you wanna come and uh, get organized. And um, for the people that don't wanna wear knee pads, check it out, bam, knocking out your rims. Me, I always stay with it. People know me by the knee pads. You know what I mean? They know it. Ah. Hey, you put me on the knee pads too. Yes, sir. That's for the people that's, that's ready to get down. So when people are watching me from the window, they A. Hey. Boy, move. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all don't know nothing about that, man. Y'all don't know. Y'all too pretty out here, man. We here to get, get down and dirty, man. So we got one more thing. Uh, we got the sand killers, obviously for the grit guards for the bottom of your buckets. But we also have these um, these bucket dollies. So if you don't want to carry your bucket around, uh, you can grab a bucket, put that on the dolly, tighten it, and then you could roll your bucket around, put the grit guard in there. And as well over here, we have... Okay, Jay. Right here, we got a bucket seat. So it's one left. If you, uh, if you put a dolly on there, put a bucket, put the seat on there, you could use your bucket as a seat. So if you're washing a car or you're polishing, you don't want to sit on the ground, you could sit on your bucket and that makes it easy to uh, polish. Look at that, so your booty ain't hurting, you know? Got some cushion there, you know? Hey, but last one, Wayne? Yep, last one. Y'all better come get it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, um, if there's anything that we missed, y'all gonna have to come through and uh, see what it do. I appreciate you guys tuning in. All glory to God, I'm thankful. If you guys haven't seen my journey, make sure you guys go way, way, way back years and years, years ago and see the journey and see where we've came. We are elevating and most of all, we're seeking the kingdom first and his righteousness and all things shall be added. It's God over everything. And uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. Drop it down in the comments below what you guys want to see in the store, what you guys want to see next. Whatever it is, I'll catch y'all. Let's go. Y'all have a blessed one. Ah.